Every day, about 100,000 planes take to the skies, and every single one needs fuel. But what if they didn't? A Zimbabwean inventor named Maxwell Chikambutso says, he's built a plane that powers itself, using nothing but the radio waves that are all around us. It sounds like science fiction, and most of the world's scientists agree, calling it impossible. But that hasn't stopped rumors from exploding online that one of the biggest names in aviation, Boeing, is secretly working with him. So, are we looking at the biggest cover-up in aviation history, or a myth that's just too good to be true? To really get this story, you first have to understand the man at the center of it all. Maxwell Sangulani Chikambutso isn't your typical tech mogul. He doesn't have a formal engineering degree, yet from his workshop in Harare, Zimbabwe, he's revealed a string of inventions that he claims will change the world. For years, he's shown off tech that seems to bend the rules of science. There's a TV that powers itself, an electric car he says never needs to be plugged in, and a green power generator that supposedly pulls half a megawatt of electricity out of thin air. The secret, according to Chikambutso, is a technology he calls the Microsonic Energy Device, or MSED. He claims this device can capture and convert ambient radio frequencies, the same waves our radios use, into clean, limitless energy. It's a claim that has earned him a massive following and an equal amount of skepticism. His story is one of struggle. He's reported threats and sabotage attempts, forcing him to work in secret. To his supporters, he's a modern-day Nikola Tesla, an African innovator fighting a system designed to hold him down. He's gotten endorsements from Zimbabwean officials, and the vice chancellor of the Harare Institute of Technology has even stated the university validated his designs, lending him local credibility, even as the global scientific community remains unconvinced. And then there's the plane, an aircraft that Chikambutso claims can fly indefinitely on that same mysterious energy. If it's real, it wouldn't just change flying, it would flip our entire understanding of physics on its head. So where does a giant like Boeing fit in? This is where the story shifts from public claims to online whispers. The rumor mill suggests that the aerospace titan, desperate for a breakthrough in green aviation, has taken a secret interest in Chikambutso's work. Let's be perfectly clear, there is no official paper trail, no press releases, no joint statements, a look at Boeing's own news portal shows partnerships across Africa, but Chikambutso's name is nowhere to be found. The whispers are just that, whispers, but you can see why the idea is so tempting. The aviation industry is under massive pressure to go green. Billions are being poured into sustainable fuels and battery-powered planes, but everything has limitations. A technology promising limitless energy with no fuel weight would be the ultimate prize. It's something a company would want to lock down and keep away from competitors. For a company like Boeing, which has been working to recover from major safety and production issues, a game-changing technology would be a corporate masterstroke. This idea of a secret partnership lets people connect the dots. A lone genius and a global corporation, working in the shadows to protect a revolutionary secret. It's a great story, but it's a story built entirely on speculation. But here's where the story hits a wall of cold, hard facts. For all the amazing claims, there is a profound lack of independent, verifiable proof. First, the science. The overwhelming consensus among physicists is that a device like the MSED is impossible. The laws of thermodynamics are clear. You can't create energy from nothing, you can only convert it, and you always lose some in the process. While radio waves do carry a tiny bit of energy, Experts say it's not nearly enough to power a car, let alone get a plane off the ground. The energy needed is worlds beyond what could possibly be harvested. In fact, Chikambutso has reportedly acknowledged that his inventions have been rejected by patent offices because they violate known laws of physics. Then there's the evidence. While some demonstrations have happened, they haven't been done under the strict, controlled conditions that science demands. A planned 7,000-kilometer road trip in his self-powered car was canceled. And while there are claims of a historic, unrefueled flight, there's no independent flight data, no radar tracking, and no official confirmation to back it up. Recent reports have even alleged that some of his inventions are just rebranded commercial products from China. And what about Boeing? There has never been an official statement, a leaked document, 
or any credible report from a reputable news organization suggesting a partnership exists. Without that, the secret deal remains a myth. This is a story with incredible claims and a frustrating lack of answers. We spend our time digging into these kinds of stories, from mysterious technologies to corporate secrets. If you want to see more investigations into the tech that could change our world, make sure you subscribe now and hit the bell so you don't miss what we uncover next. If the science doesn't add up and the evidence isn't there, why does this story have such staying power? This brings us to the most powerful part of the legend, the conspiracy theory. The argument goes like this, the reason there's no hard proof is because the technology is real. If a man in Zimbabwe really holds the key to limitless free energy, he becomes a threat to the multi-trillion dollar global energy industry. Oil companies, energy giants, and entire economies that depend on fossil fuels would be turned upside down. In this version of the story, the silence isn't a lack of evidence. It's proof of a successful cover-up. Supporters point to Chikumbutso's own stories of alleged sabotage as proof that powerful forces are trying to stop him. They argue that a secret partnership with a giant like Boeing isn't just plausible. It's a necessary shield. A lone inventor could be silenced, but an inventor under the protection of an aerospace giant might just have a chance. This narrative cleverly reframes the lack of scientific papers and public demos not as a failure, but as a deliberate strategy to protect the invention from its enemies. It's an emotionally powerful idea that transforms a lack of proof into proof of a conspiracy. So, what's the real story of Maxwell Chikambuzo and the rumored Boeing partnership? On one hand, you have this incredible vision of a self-taught genius who solved the world's energy crisis, a man so important that one of the world's biggest companies is working with him in secret. It's a story of hope and of African ingenuity. On the other hand, you have the scientific reality, a series of extraordinary claims that violate our current understanding of physics, a frustrating lack of independent verification, and zero credible evidence of a partnership with Boeing. It's a narrative built more on faith and speculation than on verifiable fact. So what do you think is really going on? Is this the biggest secret in modern aviation, a world-changing technology being developed in the shadows? Or is it a powerful myth fueled by our shared hope for a better world and a story that's simply too good not to believe? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. The fascination with Maxwell Chikumbuzo's story lies not just in the promise of limitless energy, but in the way it taps into something far deeper, the longing for a single breakthrough that could solve humanity's biggest challenges overnight. We live in a time of rising fuel costs, climate anxiety, and political fights over the future of energy. So the idea that a single invention could erase all of that resonates like a modern-day miracle. For Chikumbuzo supporters, the skepticism of scientists isn't a barrier. It's part of the drama. They argue that every great revolutionary, from Galileo to Tesla, was mocked and dismissed before their ideas reshaped the world. And that comparison to Tesla isn't accidental. In fact, much of Chikumbuzo's legend mirrors the myth of Tesla himself, a brilliant outsider, unfairly attacked, potentially suppressed by powerful industries that profit from the status quo. The imagery of a lone innovator battling corporations and governments is irresistible. It's the kind of story that spreads quickly online, fueled by YouTube videos, TikTok edits, and shadowy leaked documents that always seem to appear at the right moment. But when you step back, it's clear how easily the line between fact and fiction blurs here. Even if the science isn't proven, the emotional impact of the idea is undeniable. Because what people are really responding to isn't just the possibility of a plane that never needs fuel. They're responding to hope, the hope that an African inventor could hold the key to rewriting the rules of global power, that someone outside the billion-dollar research labs could change history. It's a narrative that challenges the hierarchy of innovation, flipping the script so that genius doesn't just live in Silicon Valley or European universities, but in the back streets of Harare. And while Boeing may have no official connection to Chikumbuzo, the fact that the rumor persists is telling. People want to believe that a corporate giant, despite its flaws, might secretly be nurturing something revolutionary instead of just chasing profit. The story grows stronger because it fills a void. The gap between the slow, incremental progress of mainstream science and our yearning for sudden, transformative breakthroughs. Skeptics see this as dangerous. 
a distraction that diverts attention from real, measurable advances in renewable energy, battery technology, and sustainable fuels. But believers argue that all great revolutions looked impossible until the moment they weren't. So where does that leave us? Caught between science and speculation, between evidence and faith. Maybe Chikambutso is just another name in the long list of inventors who promised the impossible and vanished into obscurity. Or maybe, just maybe, his story is still being written, hidden in the shadow of corporate secrecy and global politics. And that's why his legend endures, because until the final chapter is revealed, we're left with questions that tug at our imagination. Did he really crack the code of free energy? Did Boeing see something the rest of the world missed? Or is this all an elaborate tale of hope, myth, and human belief in miracles? In the end, whether Chikambutso's inventions prove real or not, the story itself already has power. Power to inspire, to challenge, and to remind us that sometimes the world's most disruptive ideas don't come from where we expect.